Hello, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're going to be dealing with some DAWA kit and in particular we're going to try and get the peer-to-peer -peer services working. That's the one that you use to get the images on your mobile phone. So let's get started. First things first, you need to be aware of some of the tools you need uh, with DAWA. Uh, we have the toolkit and if you look on the screen here we have the config tool which if we open up and we do a little scan on the network you'll soon find that I've got a couple of uh, units here. There's an NVR and an XVR. Uh, the NVR has been defaulted and it's got DAWA's default IP address, which is 192.168.1.108. Um, I need to go and configure that, but let's just have a quick look what we do. Uh, here's the details here. Uh, and it's automatically giving me a default IP address and a default gateway. Uh, the gateway being 1.1 1 .1. right uh, so i should be able to web browse to that so let's just have a look oh and it appears not it appears we can't get there so there's the first problem we've got to try and fix the reason for that is the gateway's wrong uh, and this is often the problem with the peer-to-peer -peer services a quick way to check my gateway is to get the command line up um, we should use the Windows and R key to get the run command up, type in CMD, we'll get to a command prompt and I'll type in the words ipconfig. And ipconfig will tell me that I'm on uh, my local network and it has a gateway address of 192.168.1.254. So I need to get to a situation where that recorder has been set up like that. So let's go and have a look at the local monitor. Right, if I right mouse click on the screen. And go to main menu. It'll ask me to put a pattern in, which I've always I've already predefined it. And if we have a quick look onto the network section, I go down to peer to peer. We'll find that it it's already it's offline. I can enable it and press apply. But and if I click away and back again, it still remains offline. So this is what's required for your mobile phone to start scanning and getting the images on. So let's go and have a look at the TCP IP area. You can see the default IP address is up here. Uh, and what I can do is I can go and edit that and turn DHCP on. And that's often the quickest way to get a local IP address on there. If I just click apply, it should go away. And if often we have to click on and click away. And there we have it. It's been given an IP address by the local network and it's now got a 153 address. If I could have a look at the details, you'll see that it's got the correct gateway in there now because that's my local network. And quite frankly, that's the simplest way to do it. You can turn this off um, and enter it manually, but you'll need to know all the details. So if we go over to peer to peer, you'll suddenly find that this is online. And that's basically all we need to know to get that unit online. If I nip back over to the web pages um, on the config tool, particularly, I uh, just do a little rescan. You'll, you'll find that my NVR has a new IP address, which is fine and great. And if I just type on the web, I should be able to log in with my username and password. I don't need to save that for now. Uh, and it's already telling me I've got no hard drive, which I haven't. And that's fine. That that recorder is sitting there waiting for the mobile phone to be attached. Right. To uh, attach this uh, NVR to your mobile phone, you need to scan the QR code. Uh, there's a number of places this QR code exists. Um, if we nip over to the local web pages, you'll find that it was already in the management, the, the network, sorry, the network peer-to-peer -peer side, and you can scan it there. But if we ditch that, and the quickest way to get it is actually this little checkbox up here, and that gets the device serial number and QR code ready to scan nice and easy. The other way to do it is to nip over to the local browser uh, with your monitor attached. And if you get into the menu system, again, there's a little box you can click here, and that brings up the device serial number. And that's where you do the scanning. Or again, you can nip into the network and go down to peer-to-peer -peer settings. Straightforward enough. Right, so let's get this mobile phone up. 
and start the application. Right, once we've launched the application, you need to sign in. I uh, click the little plus key at the top and we can go for a serial number scan. And we can just point the camera at the screen and it'll scan in the number for you. And that's the serial number. You can enter this manually as well, but uh, it's easier to do the QR code at this point. Let it connect. Decide on a device. We've got an MVR. And at this point, we need to give it a little name. You can call it whatever you like at this point. I'm just going to call it NVR for, for this time. And we can change the user and password as well. So we put in our admin password at this point. And all we have to do is click save and just let it go off and connect for a minute. Shouldn't take too long. Once it's connected, we just need to confirm the DST time, which is fine. We can click done and that's the final connection being done. Uh, an option will pop an image live screen. Just let it buffer a little bit and before long we should have a, a live image from camera one anyway i hope that's helped uh, you can add another camera at this point if you've got more cameras but otherwise good to go catch you later